So the reason why part two has taken quite so long to arrive is because I had forgotten to order these new bolts. Because the previous ones, or the original ones rather, are too short to go through this wider flange. So I've ordered some of these and these are now the right length to enable me to bolt this, the engine block. And I've gone for nice Allen headed bolts which are just going to look that little bit more posh. Although you're never going to see them. But I'll know they're there. Next thing we needed to do was to put the extension onto the end of this oil pickup pipe. And that's going to act as a bit of a baffle within the sump, which again, you can see the explanation of that in part one. So the first stage of doing this was to make a cardboard template. This is some old gasket material that I had. And I've set this to the same circumference as that. And I've marked off on here three equidistant holes uh, that I'm going to drill out uh, in the final piece of metal and that's just going to allow the oil to kind of move through uh, the baffle um, and therefore sort of flow around a little bit um, but yet still act uh, as a baffle. Now I went for two and a half centimetres depth because I'm going to tack this to this piece of metal here. The Abarth sump is three centimetres deeper than standard so I figure going for two and a half centimetres on that is going to give me enough room on the baffle. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to transfer this to a sheet of steel or we'll slice it out and then again mark out the holes, drill the holes with the step drill and then we can bend it and form it around here and get ready to tack weld that in place. It's not going to move around so it's not going to need a huge amount of really strong welding but we'll tack it in a few places around there just to make sure that this all stays in place. I'm going to have to do quite a lot of cleaning so obviously this is soaked in oil and that's really not good for welding too. Okay so I have now drilled the holes and I've formed the basic shape and I've cleaned it all up, cleaned that, that surface up down there clean that surface up there ready for welding. It's not a perfect circle at the minute because I don't have a slip roll. So what I did was I just rolled it around my map cylinder there. Um, I'm gonna weld this on now. I'm not gonna film it welding on because A, I don't have enough hands. B, all it will do is flare the camera lens out and C, because I've got to form the edge of that over where it's not quite rolled properly, there's just gonna be quite a lot of hitting stuff with a hammer um, and it's not going to look all that great on film. But I will tag back in in a few minutes when that's welded on there. And fingers crossed, we'll have something that's a nice workable piece to actually go and act as an oil pickup pipe. If not, we'll scrap it and start again. Okay, so here we are. I've uh, tacked this in place. Now, don't worry. It's not got a huge amount of penetration. It was literally just tacked in place uh, as sort of a proof of concept. And I will weld these properly up before I put it on the car. For those of you that want to jump in the comments with my poor welding there. It is, however, doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is enabling that now to sit at the right angle and to sit, well, it will sit just off the bottom of the sump like that. Uh, and there's some holes to allow the oil to sort of flow through it. And we've also got uh, this sort of baffling effect um, from there. So it's an extended pickup pipe and it also allows the oil to sort of flow through it and, and act as a little bit of a baffle. Other than being fully welded up, just wanted to show you the uh, initial kind of proof of concept there, which seems to do what it's supposed to do. At least it looks how it looked in my head when I thought of the idea. So uh, I'll finish welding that up and then what we'll do is we'll get this onto the bottom of the engine that's in the blue car after I have drained the oil that's in there and removed the original sump. To so say with this uh, sump here, you have to excuse the fact it's 
full of rubbish at the moment. Um, it doesn't need a sump gasket, so it's going to have some gasket sealant on it, and then it's going to go into the car. So I've just raised it slightly up on the jacks here because my new oil drain is uh, a lot taller than my previous one um, and so therefore to try and get the oil from here into there it needs to be a little bit higher up. I'm going to try not to spray it all over my gravel as I'm doing it which I can't guarantee is actually going to happen but we'll drain the oil out of the sump there and then we can start removing the sump and then replace it with the new one and we'll replace the pickup pipe and have a little look at the finished welding on the pickup pipe when I do that. Well that could have gone worse. It's actually not on the floor and is at least kind of going in the right place. There's also no shimmering particles in there which is nice. We'll have a little look a little bit closer once it's all fully drained but looks like we're golden for any sort of wear or damage. As the engine was cold when I was draining the oil, which is never ideal, it is draining out a little bit slower. Uh, but whilst we're doing that, or whilst I'm waiting for that, I should say, we can start cracking off the bolts on the sump. As really, there's only going to be a little bit of oil left in here anyway. And most of it will be sitting right down the bottom of the sump. So I can probably just stick the drain plug back in, be done with it, and whip the whole thing off. So... It's just dripping the final girly little drips out now. We'll put the plug back in and then whip the rest of it off. Having removed the standard sump, what you can see is the fan housing actually has um, an additional vent here, which is designed to blow into this part of the housing here to try and blow air across and keep the oil cool. Um, a function which will be done by these uh, these vents on here, these vents, these fins uh, on this new one here. As you can see, I have finished welded uh, this piece here, which replaces this one here. I've measured the depth and it should fit. Um, I'm hoping it's not too deep. We will find out when I install it. Um, I'm not going to film installing it because it's just me threading in a whole bunch of these little um, Allen headed bolts. But what we'll do is we'll replace this, or rather use this to replace the original pickup pipe. And then we'll install the sump and have a little look at how that looks. Well, there we go. Now fully installed with the... Uh, Allen headed bolts, which look quite nice, and it's pretty tidy as you zoom out, just a little bit of a bath peeking up under there, so I'll top it up with oil and then we'll be able to take it for a little drive, but there you go, that's how you install one of these with a modification to the oil pickup pipe, so hopefully that was quite useful to some of you if you liked give us a like give us a subscribe and chuck me any comments